just don't know what I just did. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another video! We are going to be doing a story time. I was like, Kaya, you haven't done a story time on your channel yet. What are you doing, girl? I was like, hey girl, you right. First things first, I know I'm on a swing, and I know I keep moving back and forth, and I know this is probably gonna get annoying throughout the video, so I apologize now, but I'm having a blast, so... Oh well. I got ready today, guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So let's hop right into this story. So let me tell y'all a little bit, some backstories to like make everything make sense. This was uh, in middle school for me, all this uh, craziness. So let's start off when I first got a phone. I got my first phone in seventh grade. I got one of the Verizon like blue, like slide up phones at the keypad. And I was like, oh, I got the keypad. Y'all out here with your flip phone, but I got the keypad, like what's up? So the rule was with my phone is I was not allowed to text boys and boys were not allowed to text me. They couldn't have my number, they couldn't call me, they, I couldn't text them, I couldn't have their number, like, no boys, no. <laughs> it's just not a thing. Of course, some boy tries to text me, and of course, my parents see it. I was like, yo, it's not my fault, I swear. They didn't believe me, but it's okay. I got my phone taken away, <laughs> and then in eighth grade, I got my first iPod Touch. And let me tell ya. That was some technology that I was excited to have. If I at least wasn't having a phone, at least I had an iPod, right? Back in the day, you if you didn't have a phone, you would just download your texting apps and just text from your apps or something and you'd have like a phone number or whatever and like you'd still text real phone numbers. So that's what I did. I downloaded the app, you know, got a phone number, started texting all day friends and like was like, what's up? I don't think my parents know you could do that on your iPod. So one night, I was texting this like one guy and he lived in my neighborhood. My room was in the basement. There was a sliding door that you could like get into through like the main part of the basement and then there was like a room, which was my room. Anyways, so I'm texting this guy, right? And he lives like down the street from me. He's like, hey, let me walk over and come see you. And I was like, no. I was like, no dude, don't come this way. Don't, don't, don't you dare, basically. Don't come over here. <laughs> I will get in so much trouble. Like kind of thing like please don't come over here and of course what does he do doesn't listen because boys suck <laughs> JK he comes over to my house and it's winter time at the time so that means snow is covering the ground like this thick of snow right now like midnight like snow wind like the snow is thick right now she's thick he hops over my fence, gets into my backyard, and tries pulling on the door. We had an alarm. So of course, the alarm went off. The alarm went off. I'm sitting in my room. I'm like, shoot, 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 no, 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 no. I was just like, no, 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 no. Like, no. He tried to break into my house. He tried to break into my house. My stepdad, is beyond like freaking out it comes downstairs like with a gun in his hand thinking someone's trying to break in obviously the alarm's going off my mom comes to my room she's all like oh my gosh are you okay and i was like oh yeah i'm just sleeping i'm just sleeping i'm just sleeping i was just sleeping and then here comes my stepdad after just checking the backyard saying i think i saw a kid huh who's is that your friend is that a kid? <laughs> Did you invite someone over here? No, 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 I swear. Of course, I wasn't believed. I was like, I'll show you guys a text. I'll show you. I swear I told him not to come. I told him, I told him, I told him. Please, please, please don't do this. And wasn't believed. They didn't even want to read any messages from me. Like, they didn't believe me. They didn't want to, like, I had proofed. That wasn't good enough, apparently. <laughs> then they are just freaking mad. They are so mad at me for inviting a boy over. No. They're like, do you know where he lives? I was just like, no. no, no, no. My mom's like, we'll just follow his footprints in the snow then. And I was like, dang it, no! I was like, Shh, crap. I was like, y'all think of that. So they pull me out of my bed in my pajamas, get me into the car, and they start following his footsteps like in the snow. 
and they're saying he's hopping fences going to other people's backyards so they're thinking like this guy is like crazy <laughs> i know perfect we were just two eighth graders it's fine they ended up losing his trail in the snow and asked me one more time if i knew where he lived <sighs> poor old me was too scared to say no so i was like yeah he lives right there <laughs> i like guided him up the street to his house it's about like 1 a.m right now like my parents are so mad still in their pajamas i'm still in my pajamas there's snow all outside everywhere and here we go knocking on this guy's door on his house like his family's house and everything we knock on the door and his parents open it and they're like may we help you like they don't know me they don't know my parents they're like yeah did you know your son just tried to break into our house oh my god his parents are like what like completely different like facial expression kind of quick hold on let me think of a name real quick bob well anyways bob we'll just say bob so they're like bob get up here right now and he's still fully dressed like shoes still on winter coat still on obviously he was just outside because his face was so red and like from being cold and like running basically home so he comes upstairs and his parents are like did you try breaking into this family's house he's like no like i'm standing behind my parents and i'm just crying from embarrassment like almost and like knowing that i'm going to be in so much trouble and it wasn't even my fault it was not my fault at all and that's what makes me so mad still to this day it wasn't my fault <laughs> guys it was awful so they are just sitting there talking my parents and his parents and they're all like they're just saying yo if you ever come to my house again my stepdad was like i was about to shoot your kid because i thought he was an intruder and oh my god that scared the crap out of his parents wow <laughs> it's just so funny thinking about it now and then he started crying <laughs> because he got in so much trouble like more trouble than i got in and i already knew like i, I already knew i'm my, my butt was grounded for months i already knew no ipod touch for me anymore <laughs> He's crying, I'm crying, our parents are like discussing. <laughs> I remember school was the next day. And I remember going to school. After everyone's all done talking, we all work out our problems and everything. We all go back home. My parents are like not wanting to talk to me right now. I just kind of go inside and go to sleep and well, I got my punishment the next day. And I also went to school the next day. I told everybody. I told everyone. Oh yeah, I told everyone. I was like, you're not gonna believe with this. Freaking idiot Bob did. You're not gonna believe it. God, I was so mad. I was so mad. Cause it got me in so much drama. <gasps> that was definitely a time for me. Like I was like, shit. Moral of the story, I never talked to the kid again, ever, ever. I know I wanted nothing to do with him. He made me so mad every time I looked at him, I'd call him a little crying bitch. <laughs> I always tell people he cried and <laughs> I was so mean because he got me in so much trouble and I was so mad about it. I was so salty to be honest. Like I kept that like hold. I had I like kept that grudge. Like I kept it. And that is my craziest story, I think, from like middle school. Shortly after the whole incident, I did get my iPod ev back eventually. Probably before the end of eighth grade, because I think this was like the very like beginning, obviously, since it's like winter time. Uh things did get better. I wasn't able to have a basement room anymore. For a while i wasn't able to have another basement room till like junior year that's only two years oh my god never mind that's not even a long time anyways folks i hope y'all enjoyed my first story time hopefully i come up with cool stories better stories cooler stories i don't know that was one to get you started off with like something a little a little on the edge but not too on the edge Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Comment anything you would like below. Give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all next time on my channel. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye.